Yo, what's up guys, it's Han Tucker and today welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's, I've not uploaded them fuck knows how long, but I'm going to start uploading a little bit more, so um, yeah. So as you can see on the screen right now, Need for Speed 2017, or as it's now called Need for Speed Payback, my friends, is ready to be released on the 10th of November. And I can tell you one bloody thing, I am hyped. Boys. Oh my god. When this game drops, you know I'm gonna, on the 10th, I'm definitely gonna be going down to a shop somewhere, hopefully Sheffield, <laughs> to go and get it. But without, no more fucking about. Let's get into this. But before we do, I just want to briefly say... That's an E46, and there's a big truck. R rip. So, let's go. Hold on, I just screwed that up. And there, my friend, is a Mustang. Which is back from last year, not last year, but from 2015. So if you are a fan of the RTR Mustang, it's made an appearance yet again. Here's the screenshot the next, and the release date for those of us who are too lazy to pre-order the game. Now, I, me being me, I just want to say I would pre-order this, and at the same time, I wouldn't. I mean, I know that sounds really bloody off, but I would. I would definitely pre-order it, but you know, financial issues, so yeah, that's the thing. But November 10th is definitely when I most likely will be getting it, so you guys know when I'm going to go, when I get that game, I'm most likely going to get it on PS4, just saying. Um... I don't know, because I just find it easy to live stream on PS4 rather than any other, like, platform. Because I I tried Twitch and that failed, but, um, anyway, let's move on. We were a crew. And she left us with nothing. Hello, so, um, Cunning's like, is that a Regera or a Regera, guys? Someone correct me. I know it's one of the two, I just can't tell. I think it's a Regera. We are gonna end this. Start it. There's the Mustang again. Now. Get me close to him. And I'll take... And again, I want to say that doesn't sound like an actual Mustang, but Need for Speed always. That, now this is something that Panthers said, um, but I agree with him on this. Need for Speed always has some of the best sounds in the world. I'm not even lying. He is not wrong when he said when Need for Speed always has had some of the best sounds. Like the M3 sounds amazing. The Venino from Rivals. What else? Let me think. The one 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 seven seven from um the Run, which I have completed. Um, I may do a let's play on that. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Darius's R8 from Carbon. So many other cars. The R34, the Mustangs. And not just the 2015 one, but older Mustangs in the series. And supercars, Cam Camaros, Veyrons. Yes, I mentioned Veyrons. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, which are occasionally possibly sports cars and supercars, but that's up for debate. BMWs, all kinds of cars. Always have amazing sounds. And I don't know which one, in my opinion, has the best one. But personally, I think that's Most Wanted 2012. Now, I don't like it, because it's not. it shouldn't have been called Most Wanted 2012, but that's another video for another day. But I think that has some of the best sounds in the series, personally. I know it was made on last gen, but... Uh, I mean, that game is hit and miss with me. I like it, I can enjoy it, but it just pisses, it just pisses me off. But yeah, then I shot the Mustang there. And I might buy one of those. I'm going to do a review on most cars. And there's a lot of cars in this game that I've seen... And that I like. Take care of the rest. See what I mean with the sounds? Fucking beautiful. There's something much bigger going on here. There's a dodge. Um, yeah, there's a yeah, there's a dodge right there. That's a I don't know if that's a challenger, but I'm not sure whether that's a Hellcat. But you can damn well know that's a challenger. Again, that was an infinity. That's a BMW X6. Yes, I know. Get down! What's next? A good shot of Vegas. Hey, Matt. Again, I, that's the X6 doing a bit of offer. You built this all yourself? 350Z BMW X6. Event. R34. That is an R34 GTR. I'm an idiot. I thought it was an R32. Oh, oh no. I'm an, I'm an absolute dead end. 
That's a that's a Chevy Bel Air. I know that for a fact. But you, you're a BMW. But I think that's an M6 or an X6. I can't quite tell. An artist. 240Z. Straight up 240Z. And I think everyone knows what I might do with that. Of course, the 240Z from Wagon Midnight is going to make a return in this game. Because I made it on the Xbox version of Need for Speed 2015. And I'll tell you now, that with 600 horsepower completely beats the holy crap out of component parts. Sod the RSR Porsche. If you're still stuck on that, get a 240Z. Get 600 horsepower on it. If you don't really give a crap about it topping out constantly, that's irrelevant. It beats the crap out of all the cars that even crap, even Amy's 180SX, which is fucking terrible, might I add. Anyway. Can turn any scrap into a supercar. It, now, there's another scene with the 240Z, I think, where it doesn't have carbon fiber fenders. I hope it doesn't. Because, as everyone knows, the 240Z from Wagon Midnight doesn't have carbon fenders. I didn't like that fact, but, you know, it's as close as we could get. But it looked nice regardless. And, as you can also see, it's a drag spec. Hint, hint, the wild run kind of thing here. This crew right here. Yes. There's a Pagani. Hawaira. Hawaira. Yes, that is back. I, I I like that personally. Future. That is a not. That is. A, I, I'll tell you now. The graphics look amazing. I mean, if it, if if if, the, if this Pagani looks as good as it does on the trailer in game, then I'll tell you now, something good's about to go down. We There's a Bella. Own these streets, Tyler. In the house. Oh, that's and that's the R34. And that's the R Mustang. Always wins. Infinity. Well, not tonight. It didn't. Hello, there's a... I don't know, you're a rat. And those are challenges. And apparently on the, um... Oh, what's its face? The, um... I can't think, but on the article... Um, the, yeah, I'll probably add a screenshot to this. Maybe not, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's definitely... They're, they're going to be a lot better than they used to back on 2015, guys. I'll tell you that for free. Camaro, no, 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 that's not a Camaro, that, that's a Ford Mustang, that's, um, I don't know, but that's a 60s Mustang, I know that much, someone can, if you can correct me what Mustang this one is right here, that'll be excellent, you are a 240Z, I know that, uh, Porsche Panamera, that's, <laughs> Bella doing some off-roading, there's an off-road spec, I like that. Hold on, did I just see what I thought I just saw? The E46 is back, if that is what that is, I can't tell, but... It definitely looks like an E46, and if you can get the M3 kit on it, the GTR kit, then a lot of other people are going to be happy, including me. Because if you can get the wrap thing from day one, boom, you know the M3 GTR's um, vinyl's going to be remade again. Oh, the E46 is back, baby. One car, you know I'll be definitely dropping in a let's play of this game. Boys, I tell you now. There's the R34, another car I'm going to pick up in the game, as I'm going to also pick up a 240Z. And an eight, in it, I hope the E86 is in the game, actually. I really, really hope that car is in the game. Because if it isn't, then we're going to have a problem. But, I mean, a lot of people like that car. And I, I, I'm myself included. And I hope there's more cars than there was in the last game. That's another thing. And 350Z is back as well. And there we go, guys. So, that was the trailer. Um, boys, ah, uh, yo, I, I want to say now that um, I'm definitely getting this on November 10th because there's no way in hope and hell that I'm going to pre-order this. Like, I, I know that's not a good thing, but I, Need for Speed is like, what it was like one of the games for me back in the day. I'm not kidding. Like, for a lot of people it was. Like, for me, it was mainly, like, Most Wanted 2005. And then I'd never played it for like f ten years after because uh, my brother got I don't know he, he apparently said he got rid of it and that is bullshit because I looked in his PS2 a while ago and I found out that our f fucking disc was in that PS2 all that time and I never ever bothered to check for fuck's sake I do apologize but oh man. November 10th, 2017, guys. When that drops, as soon as that's installed, I'm going to live stream that game. I'm not bullshitting. That game will be live streamed to this channel 
and uh I tell you now whew, I'm gonna enjoy playing that game just as much as I enjoyed playing Need to be 2015 Joe <laughs> oh man but I'll tell you this Need to Speed this year is gonna be fucking amazing I don't care it's gonna be amazing my friends Need for Speed this year I can't wait with, I know a lot of people can't wait, but November 10th, and I know we're going to get a lot more things as um, E3 rolls around and EA Play, which I don't know what the fuck that is. But E3, like, June, I can't wait. Is it June now? I think it is. Because it shows, it, is it, I don't know when E3, I think is it, thir, is it the 13th of July to the 14th or 15th? But when E3 rolls around, we're going to know there's going to be a lot more details and a lot more cars are going to be in this game, my friends. And... It just just by seeing 69 Camaro, a 65 Mustang, a th an R34, a 350Z, a 240Z, a Raptor, a few Porsches, a P Panamera Ford, a 2015 Mustang. There's going to be plenty of good cars to choose from, including the Pagai Hulur, which proves that you are going to we are going to be getting high end rides. And I hope, and I actually hope Ferrari aren't going to be arseholes about it this year. And actually allow us to put our oh, Liberty Walk kits on the 458 Ferrari, which we weren't allowed to do last year. Why was that? And I hope for the same for the... Does the event... No, I swear to God, no, the Hurricane. The Hurricane, does it, does it or does it not have a Liberty Walk kit? It probably does. But guys... I hope you guys are just as hyped as I am, and I want to just want to quickly thank Owen for actually giving me his microphone, which is the Blue Yeti. And yes, in part exchange, I've um, given him my Xbox One, so expect some forgery stuff on his channel. Um, yeah. So um, and the Grand Tour will be a th the Greater Tour. Bloody hell, the Greater Tour will be a thing once Owen gets his Xbox One. It'll give me mine back, obviously. Mine's only on Pezzity 500 gig, but you know, that fair's fair, right? And he's getting a Razor Siren, so we'll all let us know on that. And he's done an update video, so that'll be out in the coming days, I hope. But guys, Need to be 2017, I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. And I tell you now, I apologise for not doing anything on Need to be 2015, but I would be doing a lot more videos when I get that back. Well, I did try to play out my PS4, but my PS4 didn't like the disc for some bizarre reason. But when we get, a, I will get another copy of Need to be 2015, guys. And I will, I promise to God, that I will do a lot more videos. I'm going to do... A lot more cars, actually. I'm going, to, I'm going to build a lot of cars before this comes out. Because there's a lot of cars I've actually prone to like. And I want to build for you guys to enjoy. So, there won't be commentary with that. Well, I mean, I have an Elgato, but, you know, I'm not risking breaking... Actually, I don't know. I might... No, cause, because of space, I'm going to be using my other headset with the microphone, which isn't too bad. But, you know, yeah. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this little um, video. Um, <laughs> I can tell you now... I'm hyped as hell for this. Yeah, oh man. But I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, of course, subscribe. Um, Need Speed 2017. Need Speed Payback. It's going. Need Speed is back. It is back. Thanks to Need Speed 2015. If Need Speed 2015 didn't do what it did, we wouldn't be with Need Speed, Speed Payback today. So um, I hope you did enjoy. Like, comment, of course, subscribe. And I'm just really bloody happy for this trailer like with the screenshots that we saw like i don't know and when you when and when everyone like when it need for speed the need for speed youtube channel went and but ghost did their um the color scheme for the logo i was like pretty skeptical and a lot of people and then i went on about um need for speed redline which is fake by the way don't believe that shit yeah. by the way but i generally thought that was real and when they showed the old ea like E thing. I'm like, wait, what? I genuinely thought that was real. I and mean, I, when the screenshots came out, there was an R34 there. I thought it was an R32. An R34. My one of my all-time favorite cars. But I hope you have enjoyed, guys. I'm sorry I rambled, but you know. Yes, sir.